Hello everyone, welcome back. In today's video, we are going to see one another theory of impression making in complete denture that is muco compressive theory. So muco is mucosa and compressive is when you are making the impression by compressing the mucosa that is the mucosa is under pressure. Therefore, it is also known as definite pressure theory. So in the last video that was mucostatic theory, we have seen in that impression making theory, we are going to record the impression at rest or under minimal pressure. So this theory is completely opposite to the mucostatic theory where we are going to apply good amount of pressure to record the mucosa or to record the tissues. So this theory, it was proposed by Carol Jones. In this, as I said, we are going to record the tissue under pressure which compresses the tissue during the impression making. Why are we recording the mucosa under pressure? Because usually the denture retention, it is tested during mastication. Like how good the retention of the denture is, it is tested during the masticatory process. So because of that, many dentists, they consider it essential for the tissues to remain in contact with the dentures during mastication so they thought why not record the impression under pressure in the same manner as the chewing forces so that the retention is improved this was the major drawback that we have seen in the mucostatic theory that the retention was compromised so to improvise this retention many dentists they thought of recording the tissues under pressure now over here we are going to see what the main problem was with this particular theory so in this first diagram the mucosa is at rest. In this second, you will see that whenever you are applying pressure to the mucosa, the like tissues, they are compressed. So you can see the difference over here. Like this is a wavy form of mucosa. Whereas when you are applying the pressure, it becomes straight under pressure. But now we all know mucosa is not at rest like whole time. Whereas it, on the other hand, it is not under pressure for 24 hours, right? Obviously, the patient is not going to chew for 24 hours. So, the mucosa is going to go on rest again. Now, as soon as you are going to remove the pressure that was applied, for example, that was your masticatory forces. So, the tissue or the mucosa, it rebounds back to its normal position. So, this is like a cyclic process. The mucosa is at rest over here. Then you are going to apply pressure. So the mucosa it get compresses but again as soon as it goes in the rest position or it just rebounds back to its original position. Now we are going to apply this same theoretical picture in the denture form. So over here this is your mucosa at rest and you are going to make the impression by compressing the tissue. So that is what this impression making theory is that the impression is made under pressure that is the mucosa is at compression. So this is your impression tray where, where you are going to apply pressure to the mucosa. So now what you have done is you have made the impression by compressing the tissue. So obviously your denture is going to replicate the same thing. So in this case when you are taking the impression by the mucocompressive theory you will definitely get the best retention of the denture when you are applying the pressure. So in this case the patient is chewing. So there will be no dislodgement of the denture. As I said, the mucosa is not 24 hours like compressive or under pressure. So as soon as the pressure is removed or as soon as the patient's mucosa, it comes at rest. So over here, this is the removal of pressure. The mucosa, it takes back its original position. That is the mucosa, it rebounds back to the normal. But now the denture that you have made, it was under pressure. So in this now you can see as soon as the mucosa it takes back its original position there will be some gaps which are created between the denture and the mucosa at rest and because of that the retention is compromised on rest. So this is like the major drawback of mucocompressive theory and hence such impression they do not fit well at rest. So in this the impression material which you can use are impression compounds, waxes or the soft liners. Now there are two techniques of taking this mucocompressive theory that is open mouth technique or closed mouth technique. Now open mouth technique as the name says in this the patient's mouth is open you're going to apply the finger pressure while making the impression. 
so in this particular technique that is the open mouth technique we are going to use the basic stroke trace with any of the viscous like impression material like impression compound or you can use elastomeric materials or even you can use irreversible hydrocolloid so these are like the various materials that you can use with the open mouth technique now open mouth technique definitely will give you best control why because you are going to apply the pressure externally onto the tray now closed mouth technique on the other hand is when you're going to ask the patient to bite so in this the mouth of the patient will be closed now in this closed mouth technique you need a special tray and that has a occlusal rim which are built on it and in this you are going to ask the patient to bite on this occlusal rims so basically it's like the patient is going to bite that means it will be like when the patient is under mastication or when he is chewing so that will be same replicated over here many dentists they have advocated the use of closed mouth technique only but the major disadvantage you will see with this closed mouth technique is it does not allow adequate muscle trimming of the periphery as the patient is chewing the mouth is closed so in this the muscle trimming of the periphery it is not allowed due to which it is very common that this dentures they will have a over extended margins and you like arbitrarily need to trim it outside the mouth on the cast so that is the major like disadvantage of the closed mouth technique moving on towards the last part of this particular theory that is what are the advantages and disadvantages of muco compressive theory so advantage is it will definitely have amazing retention but in this the retention it will be good only during function that is when it is under pressure now why because we have already seen the reason that it is having the best retention during function and the retention it is compromised at rest the first disadvantage is the dentures which are made from such impression they do not fit well at rest and it will displace the denture as the tissues they tend to rebound back to its original position and this will create a objectionable forces that produces pressure on the bone and dislodging pressure against the denture hence it is not desirable to record the tissues in displaced position so it is usually said that the contact of teeth they are usually present only for 17 to 18 minutes from 24 hours so now you can see how huge the difference is the contact is only maximum for 20 minutes in a day so now as i said that there will be some forces which are applied like there are some dislodging forces which will be applied at rest and there will be forces which are applied to the bone all of this will help the denture to fit well during mastication but it will lift the denture at rest that will lead to premature contacts of the teeth now what is the next so what is the next disadvantage of this particular theory in this as i said you are going to have continuous pressure on the mucosa so the continuous pressure which is applied by the denture on the tissue it will definitely interfere with the blood supply and that will lead to the ridge resorption thereby it will lead to resorption of the residual ridge and this constant pressure can also lead to mucosal tissue reaction next disadvantage can be as i said it will have good retention but now the major disadvantage was it will lead to ridge resorption example if your ridge was present at this position and your denture was made considering this ridge position but now eventually the constant pressure on the mucosa will lead to the resorption and your denture is present over here so eventually the resorption of the ridge will lead to loosed dentures and the next disadvantage you can write as we have discussed in the closed mouth technique that there will be limited muscle trimming due to which the dentures they are usually over extended and you need to trim it arbitrarily so these are like the four disadvantages that you can write in this muco compressive theory so that was all about this particular muco compressive theory i hope you found this video helpful and if you did then please like comment share and do subscribe to my channel thank you so much